Meghan and Harry indulged in kisses with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. See rare photos of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex kissing their kids. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle decided to use an array of intimate family photos and clips in their personal Netflix docuseries, and many of which we were never seen before snaps. Among those is sweet candid moments, we saw the Duke and Duchess of Sussex doting on their two children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet and here are the sweetest photos of them kissing their kids. When Prince Archie was just a few months old, Harry and Meghan jetted off on a South Africa tour. We saw them with their son when they met Archbishop Desmond Tutu. While lots of official photographs and footage were released at the time, an unseen moment of Meghan giving Archie a kiss on his head was shown during their Harry and Meghan trailer. Either before or after bed one day, Archie and Meghan were filmed in Archie's nursery. And the little one can be seen grabbing his adoring mother's face and giving her a huge kiss on the lips. What a beautiful moment to be caught on camera. The Duke of Sussex had a sweet daddy daughter moment that was shared in the docuseries. And in the black and white snap she was seen wrapped up in a blanket. While her dad calmly lent an and pecked her nose. A stunning photograph we assure the family will cherish forever. When Prince Harry and Meghan were still residing in the UK. Meghan watched her husband Harry at a charity football match with newborn Archie in tow. As she cuddled and comforted the baby, she planted a gentle kiss on his head. So sweet. We also then saw Harry go over to the duo after the match to see if everything was okay. During one of Meghan's archetypes podcasts she spoke about her children's morning routines. In a chat with American actress Pamela Adlon, Meghan described her morning rush. Sympathizing with busy parents, Revealing that Archie wakes up later than his younger sister. So the morning rush I'm sure it'll only get more chaotic as they get older, she said. But for me, it's, you know, both monitors on for the kids to hear them, always up with Lily, get her downstairs, then a half hour later Archie's up. Prince Harry gave another insight during a video call when he spoke about his busy home with kids and dogs. During the chat, the prince said, I tell you what, we all need a dog that keeps us calm. I've got three in this house now. So, we basically have five children. I've got a black Labrador called Pula, a rescue beagle called Guy. And we got another rescue beagle called Mia. And between the three of them, they charge around chasing squirrels and causing all sorts of problems to us every single day. But they are also emotional, emotional support dogs 100% when they are behaving. Prince Harry is kicking off this sporty trip to Asia with a stop in Tokyo. The Duke of Sussex stepped out in the capital of Japan for the ISPS Sports Values Summit Special Edition. He attended with his friend Ignacio Nacho Figueres. Prince Harry and Figueres participated in the summit on the power of sport, community and philanthropy. In a statement via his charity center bail, Harry said, I have long believed that sport is a conduit for healing. Not just for the mind and body but the world. Sport requires having a dream and the need for community. Whether banded together in victory or showing up with respect and loss, no one ever crosses a finish line or scores a goal without the help. And belief of others, the founder of the Invictus Games, which is heading to Germany next month, added. The lessons we learn on the field are often the same principles of philanthropy, that a mission, hard work, dedication, and partnership can make even the impossible, possible. That is what giving back requires, and we are all capable of creating or joining a team to do so. Prince Harry also met the Stellenbosch University Choir, the oldest choir in South Africa. In a video shared by the university on social media, Harry told them to keep spreading the love. He also showed off his sense of humor. When the man off camera said, for such an icon, so humble. Harry quickly retorted, well, you are fabulous drawing laughs from the choir. The two men then shared a hug. I'll put that on my resume, the man said. Prince Harry then asked if they could do a group hug, ending with Harry leading them in a countdown to shout in unison, South Africa. Figueres said in a statement, it's wonderful to be here in Japan on behalf of Centre Bale taking the opportunity to talk about the power of polo, a sport I love, and how it serves as a platform to raise awareness for our work. Next stop is Singapore where we will be raising funds for Centre Bale's important work in Southern Africa whilst enjoying a great afternoon of polo. Carter said, when I was playing sport, 
I was most proud of inspiring the next generation of kids coming through. Now, I have been able to bring my two passions together, sport and giving back. Prince Harry was spotted arriving in Japan on Tuesday ahead of the sports summit. Full stop. The Duke of Sussex wore a baseball cap featuring the logo for Arcadal Foundation. The organization he created with his wife, Meghan, as he made his way through the airport. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.